it going, everyone? Welcome to Double Pepper. Today we are going to review S16 Gareth Bale. But I know um, a lot of you will be asking why, why, why don't you do the new loyal player? Why are you doing S16 player? That uh, these are old news already. Why not do the new players? Okay, but uh, have to say I've already pre-recorded the gameplay for uh, S16 Bale. Uh, early in the week so it's better for me to do it and I guarantee that you guys will not be disappointed by his performance nonetheless I have already um, got the GMs to insert a few uh, chosen loyal players that I will be reviewing for the next few consecutive weeks to help you guys to make a decision who to buy basically now is not the best time to buy loyal players because they are obscenely expensive wait for a few weeks wait for new items to come out and then the price will go down that is the time to buy so now is the time for you to gather your knowledge scout who you want to buy and then wait for the price all right so let's go into s16 gareth bill today okay uh let's take a look at his stats first so uh he is the fastest uh, current season player in the game. I, I remember the GM did a sprint test and he came up top so he's the fastest player current season. 92 sprint, 92 acceleration. Agility is a little bit low. Now this is something that I want to clarify. I used to say that uh, Gareth Bill is a little bit stiff and it was true because his body type was normal but uh, after the, the patch, they had this current season patch, his body changed to skinny so he's now a skinny but not tanker unfortunately but he's skinny now which means that he is more mobile so uh, for those who have been watching my videos um, frequently you will know that I like skinny players a lot because they are so much more mobile as compared to normal and bulky players okay so he's skinny and that helps his mobility a lot next uh, his dribbling is below average 80 but his ball control is decent 85 crossing is very good as well 88 and uh, his finishing is good, shot passing is a bit low, position is also quite suspect but for wingers position is not so important. Um, the rest is below par, basically this version of Bale is like speed demon, you are buying his pace, that's it. Okay. Uh, he's got good height for a winger, 183 and uh, traits wise he's got 8 of them, not bad. Most important being um, he is a wing player which means that he is a fast runner okay very uh, very very extra speedy long shot dribble master he's a crosser that's important free kick master acrobatic target man uh, target man is like goal scorer i think and then goal master okay work rate is good as well high mid uh injury pro but that's not a problem price very very cheap if i'm not mistaken ah the price went up the last i checked early in the week he was about 27 28 million currently is 40 million okay so the price went up uh, but we will see whether he is, is he worth it okay so let's now go into the in-game analysis and you guys will be blown away trust me right let's start with his strength first thing is he's absolutely jet pace he's got rocket boosters on his heels this guy is super super fast i don't know why because i've got a lot of fast players but somehow he seems to be faster than them maybe it's because of his high acceleration and also because of his skinny body and uh, he seems to go from 0 to 100 in a split second, you know, 0, 100, off he goes, very very fast. Uh, many times in the highlight, you'll see me just simply outpacing the opponent with his pace. And that is when I'm using a plus 1 bill. Imagine you have a plus 5, which is not likely to be very expensive, so imagine that, okay? Now, uh, his dribbling is also uh, very easy because of his skinny body. So dribbling, even though his dribbling stats is quite low, but because of his skinny body, he has the mobility, dribbling with him is quite easy. So um, you guys will finally know uh, the importance of the body type, okay? Um, and that is why I, I said the, the skinny, the uh, low agility does not seem to hamper him as much as compared to last time when he was uh, average body build okay now even though his uh, balance is quite low at only 73 uh, which means to say that i um by right he should be falling down a lot but he is surprisingly robust when it comes to challenges uh, likely because of his skinny build again honestly skinny build are the best kind of body type that you can go for uh he's a crazy goal scorer i'm not sure whether it's because he's on form because the opponent is weak i remember there was one game where my opponent was a legend b player but 
He scored a total of 12 goals for me and made 8 assists in 6 games. I only tried 6 games with him and he scored 12 goals, 8 assists. Absolutely crazy. The ratio is almost like the real Bale already. His crossing is also very good, 88 crossing. Uh, and, and in the highlights you'll see, you know, many times he put in good, good crosses. If he's got a good head of the ball, he's going to make a lot of assists for him. Okay. Now weaknesses, he really doesn't have many to be honest. He the the obvious one is his lack of five star skills. Uh, this small weakness to be honest because at four star, he still can do the bolasi turn, which is useful, but no scoop turn unfortunately. Um, other than that, there's really not much. He's almost the perfect winger you know the complete package now overall i would give him a 9 out of 10 i think that is very very surprising even for me as well i never thought he'd be so good um at 40 million is currently a bit pricey the, the at, at the point where i i analyzed him he was about 25 million at that time i would say definitely go for him dirt cheap 25 million but now 40 million i would say still can go for him 40 million is still considered cheap uh the main reason that he's a very very good player is really attributed to the change in his body type. I I used to give him a pre, uh, average rating. I remember about seven if I'm not wrong. But because his body type changes, he's now a nine. Like you can apply whatever I say to EC Bale, it is going to work as well. He is now pretty insane. Okay, uh, I I would say that he's one of the most complete winger or forward that you can you can have in the game. He's tall, he's strong, he's fast, he's everything that you want. Um, is he worth it? Definitely, you know, for 40 million at plus one, I think he's really, really worth it. Um, 12, go 12 goals in 6 games for a winger is really no joke. You know, if you can, if you have the money, go for a plus five bill. Yes, current season, the main problem is that their stats will change, so I don't really like them. If you want, you can go for an upgraded EC bill. It's not going to make much difference. Um, in terms of the analysis, they are still as good, okay? With that, um, I think that is all from me this time round. I hope you guys find this review helpful. Next week onwards, I will be reviewing the loyal players for a few consecutive weeks, you know, so that you guys can make a decision and then I'll do the world best as well, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and I'll see you next time.